You're watching Wish TV, News 8 at 11 with Phil Sanchez. Welcome back. Louisiana Congressman Mike Johnson has been elected House Speaker. Now, this concludes weeks of struggle to elect someone to the position after Kevin McCarthy was ousted. Uh, we go on filter tonight with Congressman Jim Banks about the vote and what comes next. Uh, Congressman, good to see you. Why do you think Johnson was the right choice? Well, he's the guy that unified us. Every single Republican voted for him on the House floor just moments ago to be the next Speaker of the House. We went through several names of others who tried to pull that off, but Mike Johnson is a, a committed conservative. He's a man of integrity, a family man, and someone who's widely respected in the House Republican Conference. An unlikely choice at the beginning of this, but after three weeks of looking at a lot of other options, he became, became the clear choice that could unify Republicans. I'm ready to go back to work and looking forward to moving forward and doing what we said we were going to do, cut spending, secure the border, hold Joe Biden and the Biden administration accountable for what they've done to this country. And Speaker Mike Johnson is ready to lead the way so Republicans can get that done, too. So I'm, I'm glad we've got this resolved. It was it was uh, uh, an unnecessary three weeks, in my opinion. But at the same time, I'm hopeful and excited that with the Speaker Mike Johnson, Republicans are in a good spot and a good position to march forward and do what we have to do to save this great country. If he was the clear cut right choice, as you said, why not do this a couple of weeks ago? Why not put him forward? then well there were several others who there were several others who ran for speaker of the house and uh, when it was clear that those other names couldn't get the 217 votes to be the speaker of the house that it needs mike johnson uh, became a candidate uh, i believe last friday was when he uh, just a few days ago was when he decided to run for speaker of the house so we went through a lot of others jim jordan steve scalise <clears throat> obviously kevin mccarthy uh, the whip tom emmer None of them could get 217 votes. So Mike Johnson rose uh, today as the one who could do that, who could unify Republicans. We're stronger. We're in a better place. Now it's time to roll up our sleeves and get back to work. Democrats already outspoken, killing you guys on this one, um, saying that he's too far right. Your response? We need a conservative Speaker of the House. The, the voters in this great country gave Republicans a majority to be a check on the very left wing Democrat party, the socialist Democrat party that's controlled the Congress for the past couple of years and they control the White House. So I'm proud that my colleague and friend, Mike Johnson, who I came to Congress with in 2017, who chaired the Republican study committee uh, right before I did, uh, is a committed conservative. He's, the, he's, the, he's a good man to do the job to bring Republicans together. I, I think he's going to be a strong Speaker of the House. So we have a spending uh, a deal coming up very soon to avoid a government shutdown in less than a month. Uh, we have big issues uh, on our plate, like giving aid and showing support for Israel. And uh, then we got to go back to the investigations and the accountability that this administration, the most corrupt administration in American history under Joe Biden deserves the accountability that House Republicans have promised that we would provide. So we have a lot of work to do. It's time to get back to work. And uh, I'm, I'm ready to do that right now. From a public relations standpoint, uh, Congressman, I appreciate you coming on. Are you concerned at all as to what these past few weeks have done to the Republican Party and in voters' eyes? Uh, look, I, I, did, I voted against ousting Speaker McCarthy three weeks ago. Um, uh, this was an unnecessary exercise, but Mike Johnson can and I believe will be a strong Speaker of the House to pull us back together and get done what we said we were going to do. So we we have an opportunity for well a, a year uh, before the next uh, election in 2024 to get our act together, get back to work and, and deliver. Uh, this this country is is counting on the House Republican majority to uh, 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 confront the big issues that this country faces. I mean, high, high interest rates. Uh, we have uh, inflation that's sky high. Ga gas prices, energy costs in this country are, um, at, are, are out of control. So we have a drug epidemic because of a wide open border. There, there are big issues that this country faces because of the policies of the Democrats and of President Joe Biden. And the House Republican majority, we're the last hope this country has to save the nation. And that's what uh, now with a unified House Republican conference behind Speaker 
Mike Johnson, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm more optimistic than I've been in a long time that we can do what we need to do. Congressman Jim Banks, on an unprecedented day, thank you so much for taking some time. We look forward to talking with you on Unfiltered in the future, sir. Thank you. Thank you.